Hey there YouTubers, nothing much to say so, other than looking at a Tommy Flywell system here on the left with the Tommy Blue Track and a Red Train of course and what we can see there on the Trackmaster set here which is the brown track here I've got heaps of it of course when I was about um, 9 years old I suppose I've got Thomas with me of course, it's a Trackmaster Thomas in fact this is the second one I've got them I suppose and um, yes, originally I was going to have three, but yes, one was given away by another person, I can't remember. But anyways, as we do a bit of one minute talking of train spotting, we may find out that Thomas is actually pulling something very fishy here. And I think, I can suspiciously think that there's something really fishy, which actually sounds amazing, and it's that boxcar here. Maybe we can just extend to one more minute. <laughs> just kidding, isn't it? Oh well, yes, I just thought I was going to be one minute, but yeah, we're only going to extend it for just basically more than a minute, of course. And I've made this beautiful light where Thomas goes through this point section here, where he actually changes direction now, I suppose. There's Thomas going by. Oh, I thought he's oh yeah, I can see a problem there. He actually gets derailed when the points aren't changed. Oh, there's a fish on the side here, on one side, of course. Which means something fishy is going to be coming out from the sea. Yeah. And I've got to tell you what, guys. I salty retired. Possibly because his battery was leaking. I do have a Trackmaster salty. Uh, the green one, of course. I don't have the normal salty. Uh, the regular one, of course. And the product we're going to review today is a Fifth Lab Origami Flapping Birds British Wildlife Collection toy. And it's a European Herring Girl Flock 5-pack. But not just any herring gull five pack, it's an adult variations toy, which is looking like that. £7.97 as Thomas goes by with his goods wagons, of course. I've actually just bought, and unfortunately, I don't have a tripod, so I have to do this one single handedly, of course. And yes, I do have both hands at the best of times, of course. Being distracted by Thomas. Here's the way it is. There's the instructions on how to flap these birds. And yes, these seagulls come in various amounts of variations. You get a, a black wing, which looks like the ring bird guy that you find in North America, of course. There's two of these non wing plumage seagulls there, the herring ones. It looks like the feet ain't coloured in, which is very weird to see. But nevertheless, it looks very, very nice to see these herring gulls, which looks very cool indeed. It's interesting, the herring gull designs by Flip Flap have actually changed dramatically. Of course. And I've got my camera along the way here, making sure it's like that. Just scanning quickly, of course. And I have to do this one single handedly because I couldn't find a, a resting area for the iPad. Or maybe this spot here. But I'm not sure if I could see the trains at the same time, though. Anyways, let's get the products out and we'll see what it's like. Yeah, baby, what do you call it? It's pretty nice, isn't it? And uh, there's actually another one stuck inside here. Come on, you come. There's a fifth one. There. Oh, there you go. There's this one here, which is like the one with dirty brown streakings on its head. And if I give a bit of a close-up look, it's actually brown. And I'm very sorry for the shaky camera here. But nevertheless, oh my goodness me, Thomas is actually having a bit of trouble there. And um, it's only going to be a short toy view because we're only going to take a look at five seagulls. Which doesn't surprise me because I've already taken a look at some seagull toys. There's the resting spot where these birds will be resting here. Yep, there's some variations here. They all work in the way they flap, of course. Yeah, typical seagulls. They look pretty nice, don't they? And uh, without being distracted by Thomas, which is lucky to see, uh, this one here is the breeding plumage. Yeah, herring gull because it's clear white with the head air. Now this one here is a very different one. It's like a combination of the ringbird gull and also these brown streakings on its head. Very interesting, but it's got the herring gull's pink legs. And this one here is sort of like a non-breeding plumage herring gull because there's brown streakings on the top of its head, which is like close to breeding plumage season, which is very nice to see. And finally, it's this one here. It could be a third or fourth winter herring girl. Maybe a, a summer herring girl, I suppose. It's like a, um, a juvenile, perhaps. But it looks pretty cool. It, it does have the adult plumage traits, of course. Which is just amazing to hear. 
Yes, they've got the very primitive looking eye on the spectrum there. And I think the adults have a very pale iris, making them look meaner face than the other seagull species that we find in the UK. More so like the lesser blackbacks and great blackback gulls that we tend to find. Well, there you go. Just a simplistic product. The European herring gull flock adult variations 5 pack. And if you'd lasted as long as this video, please give this video a like and subscribe for more flip flap videos on my YouTube channel. And I'm happy to oblige in the way I make videos here. As always, bye for now.